Right, here's the head wiring. I've done a video on this before, but it's a few changes. That's the little uh, voltage reducer for the um, for the audio amplifier. I tried a different audio amplifier recently, uh, but uh, it it wasn't very good. So I've I've gone back to this this one. This hasn't got any filtering on it, and it slightly distorts. Uh, let's move that around. So you can see the little audio amp there. I tried a slightly better one, uh, but it actually had very slight uh, digital noise on it. So it wasn't actually any better than this one. It was worse than this. So I took it back off again. Uh, so we're back to that unit and that's uh, just a couple of pounds. So this, this it does, the, does the job. Uh, I've just got a, a pot in there just to drop the audio down just um, so I can adjust the volume effectively directly on there. Um, that's also where I'll take the voice to uh, light, sound to light effectively off here as well, or buffer it off here. This is the incoming power. And as you can see, you can just see the back of, um, well, let's turn it around a bit. Touch messy, but it all works. That's the other side of it. That's one of Gail's boards, um, which, uh, which is, modified and so it's just bringing in signals so i've split the power rail not uh, off to one of these xt60 connectors uh so that's coming off a bank uh, in the in the power supply so that's running at five volts uh five and a half volts and then i'm gonna run it up that signal coming in to the to the various uh breakouts um so we've got jaws we've got the jaw eyes up and down left and right coming off here and we've got the neck um, on these longer cables this you can just see them on the back here we've got neck tilt neck up and down and this one is doing rotation so that's straight off the motor which turns the head that way um, power is coming in the, the power for the amplifier I brought directly off the um, main distribution I was running it off here at one point but I've, I've taking it from the main distribution box so if I turn off the head I still retain the idea will be still retain the audio amplifier working uh, whereas when I turn off the head I lost the lost the voice out of here you could just hear it out the back but um, it doesn't really make much difference where I pick it up it's still going to be 12 volts um, so that's all that's going on there um, I think you've seen most of this before so there's not really any changes other than I've added in um, let's just swing it around. Uh, I've added in the, the the three neck motors or the three neck directions off this board rather than taking them off low. I was going to uh, separate them, but uh, it's just it's just more work. It's more more circuit, so just keep it all, keep it all like that. So when I turn the head off, everything goes off. Um, back down to how the back is going to go. I'll just uh, pause this for a second. Okay, looking back at the uh, the back of the move again. Um, on these um, bolts out the back here, I'm going to mount the distribution box, which I'll do in a few minutes, which is this, which we looked at earlier. Uh, so that's going to mount on there. Oh, that's, that's the plan. <laughs> As you can see, it's very busy with cabling, so that's why I've been trying to tidy up as much as possible inside the unit. The, the distribution unit's going to mount on there, like so, and when the back goes on, it does fit because I've tried it before. Uh, the back was slots in like like so, quite in, but it um, the box does sit in there. It, 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 it just fits in there, so I've not had to modify any of this at all. Uh, and then I'll just have my banker switches and the display in there. Um, and I think ultimately I'm going to print a cover to go on the on the back of here, uh, which I've seen is available on Thingiverse. Um, I might, I'm just going to blank these these old switch holes out because I'm not going to use them because uh, we're just going to have those switches in there. Um, so yeah, so a new cover will go on there, blank those out. Um, I've got the side still to go on the inner size a few arm pieces still to go on and try and tidy up some of this wiring uh, but the main change as you can see I've tucked the wiring inside so it was coming out going over the top now it's coming 
inside here and these just flex out with the uh, as you can see this will all be tucked away um, not sure what I'm going to do with that I'm trying to sort of reduce that slightly I might tube that up or something I'm just trying to get rid of as much cabling as possible um, but it's there's quite a bit of excess cabling so as I say I might tie that down or extend those cables and put them through inside um, they were a bit short earlier so I've already extended those so I may do that um, everything else hopefully will just disappear because whatever I do there's still excess cable flying all over the place um, but it's it's getting there so we will, I'm now going to mount the power supply distribution unit just back to the distribution unit for a second uh, since earlier I didn't have uh, I put a fuse in there which is now um, a blade fuse that's actually a 40 amp one I've got some um, it's just to make the connection and test it I'm gonna put a 20 amp in there just so that's just got some form of fusing post power supply um, I've made I will show you hold on I made a new power distribution, made covers for a new power distribution unit um, and put some sides because I'm going to mount this on uh, somehow on the bottom of the unit. Uh, I've actually made this for the um, a slightly different one that I bought that was then faulty and then went out of stock. So this is a different unit, so nothing quite lined up. And rather than reprint it, I've just uh, made some supports for it. But I've got a PowerCon lead on that and a mains on off switch uh, I've got a neon version of this so I'm going to put on so you can actually see it's on and off um, and that comes up to the uh, I'm actually going to increase the thickness of this cable as well that comes up to just an XT60 but I'm going to make that um, up four mil or something just so we've got as much uh, um, uh, as least resistance on the mains uh, on the voltage going into the unit as possible because I was getting a uh, sort of um, what I think they call brownouts but they're not really brownouts but um, power fluctuations but uh, this should sort all those problems out uh, which is one of the main reasons I've been doing it the only last concern I've got is some of the wiring on the um, let's just pan down a little bit let's just make sure you can see this on the stomach rotation when I originally wired this um, I think I've used the cable with you know um, I didn't really use fast enough cable I just used what I had at the time uh, so this is for these um, the master and slave tilt and the master and slave uh, units at the bottom sorry just make sure you can see that so these these two bottom ones some of this cable is quite thin um, but I've got very short runs because it's literally going from there into my little distribution unit so um, that sh hopefully shouldn't cause a problem but really this should be quite fat cable going between these two which I may change in the future um, but I've, it's quite a bit of work the these aren't too bad but I'd have to take these apart which is a lot of work so um, I doubt if I'm going to change the tilt ones but I was getting problems when I had these four uh, servos running um, in getting uh, power issues that that was the main reason um, I upgraded the whole power system because these kept causing issues um, kept resetting everything um, power issues suddenly reset the um, easy bees as well which I've noticed I've, no, I've seen other people comment about as well if you if you do get um, what they call brownouts um, which is basically overloading there's not enough current going into the whole system so the, uh, the, the it's just drawing more too much current. It's drawing more than the power supply can feed locally. So the cable's not thick enough. Uh, the cable runs were too long. There's all sorts of various various issues for that. But I've upped the current um, and I've upped the voltage. Um, so the whole power rail is higher um, than it was before. Um, so that hopefully should solve any problems because I shouldn't. You don't need that much power. Um, but I, I certainly didn't have enough. So I'm going to now mount the um, power distribution on there. That's my plan. And um, we will uh, onwards and upwards. Well, that's how far I've got with the uh, mounting of the power distribution unit. I've mounted it in the back here, as you can see. Um, I've got it pretty much wired up. Um, I've got a few things to change slightly. I've got to change the wiring 
just under of, of the underarm bits either side um, but everything else is pretty much in there so I've got it power I've got a new 12 volt power supply so you can now see the power distribution I've got 12 volts running on there if I power up I've got individual controls so I've got the hands the arms torso easy B controllers which are those two obviously and the head so if I power up easy B I've also changed the um, uh, IP addresses. Well, I fixed the IP addresses better than priority on the uh, on my router because they kept changing address a couple of times, which was uh, slightly annoying. Uh, but they're now with, they've now got fixed IP addresses. Uh, so if I can connect those two, and they're both connected. Uh, if I can, if I turn on the hands, turn on the head. And on the torso, left arm, and right arm. And uh, as you can see, it's just moved. So if we, just to show it is working, if I rotate. If we uh getting quite a bit of noise from the motors as you can see. This isn't fixed on. Uh, as well, it's slightly wobbling. I've just got it taped on for the minute. That's a bit quieter. problem with the pot on the right hand side as you probably just noticed which kicks out the arm so I'm going to take that right arm off and put a metal pot in there because it's been doing that a couple of times which is uh, a bit disturbing if we turn it around Everything's basically working as it should be. What we'll do is we'll pan back, we'll get a better video of it now. <laughs> 